Ocean Explorers, here we go. Under the waves, adventure ho. Ocean Explorers, here we go. Under the waves, adventure ho. Ocean Explorers, today Dean brought us to this cove, a special quiet beach. Dean says this cove is a great place to build sandcastles. Want to help us build a sandcastle? Let's do it! This great sandcastle! And look at all these shells! What are shells, anyway? Great question, Tinker! Why don't we... Take, take a, a closer, closer look. look! When you're feeling curious And you want to know Take a closer look And your mind will grow! Seashells come from animals that live in the sea. Their bodies take in salt and other things found in the ocean, and their skin turns them into shells. Animals that can do this are called mollusks. What's a mollusk? If you've ever seen a snail or slug or clam or oyster, you've seen a mollusk. Do shells really come from so many different kinds of animals? They do. Maybe that's why shells are so many different shapes. Maybe. What shapes do you see? Well, here's one with three sides. One, two, three. A three-sided shape is called a... Oh, a triangle. Way to go, Tinker. Oh, look at this one. This one is round. And do you know what that round shape is called, Dean? A circle. Great job! Now, does anyone see one that looks like a square? I do! Squares have four sides. One, two, three, four. But these are all really nice shells. And I like all the different shapes. But what do mollusks use the shells for? Mostly to protect themselves. That little bird is using a shell for a nest. You know what else shells can be used for? Decorating sand castles! What a great idea, Neptune! What shape do you need to decorate that part of the sand castle, Neptune? I need one that has one, two, three sides. Triangles have three sides. Can you help us find a shell that's shaped like a triangle? Here's the triangle! Look, it has one, two, three sides! Now I want one that has one, two, three, four sides! Sounds like Neptune needs a circle! I'm on it, team! Good try, Dean, but a circle is round. It doesn't actually have any sides. Neptune is looking for a shell with four sides. Oh, that's right. A square. Way to figure it out. We're all still learning, finding our way. Trying and smiling, getting better each day. Found some more shells. Okay, I'll put this square here. And I'll put this circle there. And I'll put this triangle there. What do you guys think? Look, guys. Neptune has used the different shaped shells to make patterns on the walls of the sandcastle. Does anyone want to try to guess what comes next in each pattern? Yes! 
V! Of course we do. Triangle, circle, triangle. What do you think comes next? Circle! That was fun. Can we try another Neptune? Sure. Here we go. Triangle, circle, square. Triangle, circle. What do you think comes next? Square. Great job seeing the pattern, Dean. One more. Square, triangle, circle. Square, triangle. Circle! Yeah! Patterns, patterns everywhere. Circle, square. Circle, square. Patterns, patterns everywhere. Triangle, square. Triangle, square. Today, we learned that shells are made by mollusks, which include animals like snails and clams and oysters. And we learned about different shapes, like circles, triangles, and squares as we were exploring the shells. And we even made patterns. So, I guess there's really only one thing left to do. Dance! Yeah! What a day, what a day, it's so much fun. and welcome aboard, ocean explorers. Today, we're getting a view from above the ocean up in Zen's seaplane. Want to explore with us? All right! Explorer friends, how are you? Come along with us and we'll learn something new. Today's extra exciting because we're going whale watching. Hey, Tinker, any word from Roxy yet? Not yet, Zen. Let me try calling her on my shell phone. Our friend Roxy has been flying around and looking at the ocean from above to try and find some whales for us to see. Hello? Oh, hey there, Tinker. I was just about to call you. You'll never guess what I'm looking at right now down in the ocean. Is it a whale? Well, yeah. You guys have to get over here. This whale is splashing in the waves. We're on our way. Do whales really swim to the surface of the ocean to splash in the waves? They sure do, Dean. Even though whales live underwater, they have to come to the surface to breathe air. And when they do, splash! I wish I could see a whale splashing in the water. Well, you can! What do you say? Want to... Take, take a, a closer, closer look! look. When you're That whale was big! You bet! Certain types of whales, called blue whales, are actually the biggest animals in the world! Wait, that whale right there is the biggest animal in the world? I don't think so! Look! That one's even bigger! Yes, look how much bigger that whale's tail is than the other whale's tail. Why is one whale so much bigger than the other? Why do you think?
The bigger whale is the mama whale. And the smaller whale is... The, the baby, baby whale. whale. That's right. Look at the mama whales and baby whales. They're swimming together. And here come more mama whales and more baby whales. Oh, let's count mama whales and baby whales. Great idea, Dean. Count with us. Ready? Here we go. One mama whale. Two mama whales. Three mama whales. Four mama whales. Now, let's count the baby whales. Ready to count again? Here we go! One baby whale. Two baby whales. Three baby whales. Four baby whales. Whoa! That's the biggest, wettest game of peekaboo I've ever seen! What can I say? We just love playing peekaboo in the waves. You do? are the biggest animals in the whole world and that they breathe air through spouts. We counted big mama whales and small baby whales. After a great day like that, there's really only one thing left to do. What's that? <laughs> Dance! What a day, what a day, it's so much fun. Ocean explorers, we're about to visit some tide pools. Want to explore with us? All right! Explorer friends, how are you? Come along with us and we'll learn something new. Welcome to the tide pool. I see the ocean, and I see the beach, and I see this big puddle. But, hmm, I don't see a pool, Cal. That's because it's not a pool. It's a tide pool. And this puddle full of rocks is the tide pool, Tinker. Really? Really. Tide pools, like this one, can be found on the ocean's coastline. Coastline? The coastline is the part where the sand meets the water. Lots of amazing animals live in the shallow waters of the tide pools. Um, what's up with Dean? Oh, I think he's excited. Of course I'm excited. Look at the starfish. They're called fish, but they don't look like other fish at all. They look like stars. Dean's right. They're called fish, but they're not actually fish. And look, they're not swimming like fish do. They're just sticking to the rocks with all of their pointy arms. They do have a lot of arms. How many arms do you see, Tinker? Four? Let's try counting them again, together. Do you want to count with us? Great, let's count. 
count the points on the starfish together. One, two, three, four, five. The starfish has five pointy arms. Hey, what are these other animals sticking to the rocks? Oh, I know, I know. Those are, those are anemone, something like that. Maybe I don't know. So close, Dean. Can anyone help Dean name that animal? I can. That animal's name is fun to say. Anemone. 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 Hey, I got it. Great pronunciation, Dean. Whoa, their bodies are smooth. <laughs> what about the starfish? Do you think they're smooth or bumpy? I don't know. They have all those little bumps all over, so maybe they're not smooth. Only one way to find out. What do you say? Want to take, take a closer, closer look. look? When you're feeling curious and you want to know, take a closer look and your mind will grow. Oh, look, starfish. Now that we see them closer, it really doesn't look like those starfish are smooth. You're right, it does look like starfish are bumpy, but there's only one way to know for sure. Wow, Cal. We have to touch it. Gently, though, because starfish are living animals, just like you and me. Whoa, it's smooth and soft. That's surprising. I thought a starfish would be bumpy and hard, like my shell. Oh, I see more hard shells. <laughs> Look at those little guys. These are crabs, Dean. And you're absolutely right. These crab shells are hard. And look how they walk. They're moving sideways. I want to try walking like a crab. <laughs> Me too. What about you? Do you want to walk like a crab? Let's all walk like crabs. Crab walk, crab walk, you move to the side. Crab walk, crab walk, it's a left, right, line. Crab walk, crab walk, try and move fast. Crab walk, crab walk, side walking, it's a blast. Crab walk, crab walk, crab walk. That was so much fun. We learned that starfish have five arms. We also learned that starfish are smooth and soft, just like anemones, while crabs have hard shells. Like me. That's right. Hey, you know what would be the perfect ending to such a perfect day of exploring different animals in the tide pools? Dance, Dance party! What a day, what a day. It's so much fun playing with friends by the ocean. Down below in the water, up on the shore. So much to learn, so much to explore. We're so glad you could play with us. Tinker, Cal, Dean, Neptune, and Opus. What a day, what a day. It's so much fun. You're coming towards the beach and looking for your signal, Neptune. Hello, ocean explorers. We're up early today, headed to see some baby turtles take their first swim. Want to explore with us? All, All right. right! Explorer friends, how are you? Come along with us and we'll learn something new. Okay, Neptune, we can see your big smile now. We're coming in for a landing. Phew, I was getting tired waving this thing. <laughs> what are those?
those white spider balls on the beach? Those are sea turtle eggs. Turtle eggs? I've never seen those before. Should we take a closer look? <laughs> yes! When you're feeling curious and you want to know Take a closer look and your mind will grow Why do sea turtles lay their eggs on the beach? Sea turtles need a warm place that's also safe for their eggs to grow and hatch. Oh, the beach has the ocean and the sun, so it's perfect for that. Did you know that when sea turtles are born, it's called hatching? That's when they come out of their eggs onto the sand. No way! Uh-huh, that's right. And the mama sea turtles like to make a nest for their own eggs where they hatched when they were baby sea turtles. Cool, huh? What happens when they hatch? Oh, the babies make their way to the ocean and swim for a whole day or two. Oh, they sure must like swimming a lot. Me, I'd rather dig in the sand. By going right into the ocean for a long time, they're able to learn to swim quickly until they find their mamas. I really wanted to see those little cuties. Well, you're in luck. Those little turtles behind you are coming out of their eggs right now. <gasps> I've never seen anything like this! Some turtles are wandering around near the cracked eggshells, and some are close to the water. The ones that are close to the water are near the water. The ones that are a long way away are far from the water. Near and far are opposites. Can you see which turtles are near the water and which are far from the water? That one is near the water. That one's also near the water. Good try, Bean. But that one's actually far from the water. Oh, now I get it. We're all still learning, finding our way. Trying and smiling, getting better each day. Oh, I have another set of opposites. That turtle over there is moving fast. And that one is moving slow. I have an opposite too. That turtle is out of its shell. And that turtle is in its shell. Well, except for its head. <laughs> Near, far, fast, slow, in, out. You guys really know your opposites. Opposites are in and out. Zen is in, Tinker is out. Opposites are near and far. Cal is near and Bean is far. Opposites are fast and slow. Opus is fast, Neptune is slow. In and out, near and far. Fast and slow. Today, we learned about where and how sea turtles hatch and what they do in the water. We also spotted opposites on the beach, like near and far, in and out, and fast and slow. I guess there's only one thing to do. They figured it out first. Baby turtle dance party! Yay! <laughs> What a day, what a day, it's so much fun Playing with friends by the ocean Down below the water, up on the shore So much to learn, so much to explore So much fun playing with friends by the ocean. Well, ahoy there, ocean explorers. You're just in time. 
We're looking for a good spot to go for a dive today. Do you want to come? All right! right. Explorer friends, how are you? Come along with us and we'll learn something new. Hey, Cal, how come you called it a dive instead of a swim? Great question, Dean. A dive is a swim, but when you dive, you go down deeper into the water to explore what's going on underwater. Come on, our friends Opus and Neptune are waiting for us down below. Hi, Hi Opus. Opus. Hi, Hi Neptune. Neptune. Hey, everyone. You guys got here just in time. In time for what? <gasps> We're watching an octopus change colors. Whoa, what and how and what color was it? And what color did it turn into? And is that even really possible? Oh, I have so many questions. Well, you're in luck, Dean. Because I'm an octopus, so I have answers. Phew. We octopuses can change our color to match the color of whatever's around us. It's called camouflage. I get it! I think. Actually, maybe I don't get it. I think it might be easier to understand if we... Take, take a, a closer, closer look. look! When you're feeling curious and you want to know, take a closer look and your mind <laughs> that octopus is playing underwater hide-and-seek. So, camouflage means hide-and-seek? Not exactly, Dean. Camouflage is when you blend in to the colors of the world around you. So, it's sort of like a way to hide without a hiding spot. Just like that octo guy over there. That octopus changed from red to yellow to match the color of the sand. Wow, playing hide and seek with octopuses is so much fun. It sure is. Do you want to help us find an octopus? All right, let's do it. I spy a purple octopus. Can you find it? Yeah. The purple octopus is hiding behind the purple shell. They match. Let's see if we can find another one. Great idea, Tinker. Ready? Here we go. I spy a gray octopus. Can you find it? All right. The gray octopus is hiding on top of the gray rock. They match. It's octopus hide and seek. If you're the seeker, remember, don't peek. If you're the one they have to find, find something to hide behind. Be like an octopus and blend in well. So where you are, no one can tell. Move around, stand still, find a hiding spot. Behind a plant, or a door, or maybe a rock. I'm counting down from ten to one. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, oh, I spy a yellow octopus next to that yellow coral. Gotcha! <laughs> Hey, I want to see if I can hide like an octopus, too. Watch me. Oh, ho, ho. way to go, Neptune. You totally matched that seaweed. Oh, wait. Did Neptune just become an octopus? This is big. No, Dean. I was <laughs> just joking around. I didn't really change color. I'm always green, like the seaweed. <laughs> Today, 
We went diving deep into the ocean water, where we learned how octopuses hide by changing color to match the world around them. It was so much fun showing you guys how we octopuses play hide and seek, but you know, there is one thing we like to do even more. What's that, Opus? Dance! What a day, what a day, it's so much fun. Playing with friends by the ocean. Down below in the water, up on the shore. So much to learn, so much to explore. We're so glad you could play with us. Tinker, Cow, Dean, Neptune, and Opus. What a day, what a day. So much fun playing with friends by the ocean. Hello, ocean explorers. Today, we're going to explore the incredible colors of the ocean and see some animals in their homes. Do you want to come along? All right. Explorer friends, how are you? Come along with us and we'll learn something new. I can't wait to see what a home in the ocean looks like. Me too. I don't just want to see the underwater houses. I want to see the underwater schools and the underwater swimming pools. I love that you're excited, Dean. I don't know if we'll see all of those things, but if we take a closer look, I bet we'll learn a lot. I can't wait! Me too! What about you? Do you want to take a closer look? When you're feeling curious and you want to know, take a closer look and your mind will grow. Wow! Those colors and shapes are so different and beautiful. But what am I looking at? That's a coral reef. So a coral reef is a group of colorful rocks? It looks like a group of colorful rocks. But actually, the reef is made up of small living animals called coral. Whoa, Whoa. that's cool. That purple coral looks like a bunch of purple tubes. And that yellow coral looks like a forest of yellow trees. <laughs> that pink coral is pointy like a pointy pink porcupine. All of that coral is so beautiful, but I thought we were seeing homes where ocean animals live. The coral is where lots of ocean animals live. It is. Follow me. I'll show you. Yay! Opus is going to show us where animals live in the coral. Let's go! If we pay close attention, I bet we can see some of the animals that live in the coral reef. Do you want to try? Okay, let's go! That was a sea urchin. Did you see it? That was a clownfish. Did you see it? Hey, look. I'm pretty sure we found the seahorse's home. Way to go, Dean. What are they doing with that coral? They're hanging on to it to protect themselves from being washed away by the strong waters. I wonder what seahorses eat. They eat tiny shrimp all day long. Oh, that's a lot of shrimp. But do you want to know what I think is the most interesting thing about seahorses? Daddy seahorses are the ones who have babies, not mommy seahorses. If you're a tiny horse who lives in water, anything is possible. Well, they're not actually horses, Dean. I'm going to need you to repeat that, Cal. OK. They're not actually horses, Dean. Whoa. <laughs> See that fish over there? Look at those flaps on its neck. Those are called gills. That's how a fish breathes underwater. 
Now, look at the seahorses. <gasps> they have gills too! That's right, because seahorses are actually a type of fish. Oh, I love seahorses. I mean, sea fish. Uh, uh, horse horses. Uh, horse fish. Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Move like a seahorse, go up, go down. Move like a seahorse, sway side to side. Just feel the music, let it be your guide. Sway to and fro Dancing like the seahorses down below What a great day! We saw all sorts of colorful coral We learned about some animals who live in coral And we even got to see seahorses And we learned that daddy seahorses have babies it's pretty amazing, isn't it, Dean? Uh, yeah. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Dance, Dance party! party! What a day, what a day. It's so much fun. Playing with friends by the ocean. Down below in the water. Up on the shore. So much to learn. So much to explore. We're so glad you could play with us. Tinker, Cal, Dean, Neptune, and Opus. What a day! What a day! It's so much fun. Playing with friends by the ocean. There, ocean explorers! It's such a beautiful day that Neptune invited us all out to his favorite spot along the shore for some beach fun. Want to come explore the beach with us? Fantastic! Explorer friends, how are you? Come along with us and we'll learn something new. Hey guys, is this great or what? It sure is, Neptune. I love spending time outside in the warm sun. And I love playing in the sand. Oh, I love the sun in the sand too, but my favorite part of the beach is the waves. Surf, surf! <laughs> Come on, guys. Come swim with me. Okay, Dean. Here we... Whoa! What's swimming out there? Are those seals? They have little black noses and they look really furry. I don't think those are seals, Neptune. <gasps> and what are they? There's one way to find out for sure. Want to... Take, take a, a closer, closer look. look. When you're feeling curious and you want to know, take a closer look and your mind will grow. Wow, two otters. Otters, cool. What are they doing? They're playing. Otters love playing with their friends, just like we do. Look, they're coming in closer. Hey, where'd they go? Whoa, did that otter just use a rock to open a clam? He did, Neptune. Otters are one of the few mammals that use tools. <laughs> just like me. Exactly. But instead of using a tool belt to hold its hammer, an otter has a pocket under its arm where it keeps its favorite rock. How do you think they find all of those clams down there? 
Great question, Dean. Otters can smell underwater. No way. Oh, I wonder if I can smell underwater. Dean, I don't think I... <laughs> Nope. Can't smell underwater. Look at what that otter's doing now. It's stacking clams. That looks fun. I want to try stacking too. Great idea, Tinker. Let's see if we can find things on the beach that we can stack. I'm going to stack shells. I'm going to stack sand dollars. Oh, I'm going to stack driftwood. And I'm going to stack rocks. Are you ready to make stacks with us? Should we do what the otters do and put the biggest items on the bottom of our stacks? Hmm, what happens if I stack my stacks small to big instead of big to small? Well, I guess it doesn't last very long. Whoa, that was so cool. Hey, what's wrong, buddy? When the wave came in, it knocked over all our stacks. I didn't expect that to happen. That big wave really surprised me too. But now, we get to build more stacks. And we can make them even taller this time. Biggest on the bottom, smallest on the top. Shell stacks, crab stacks, wood stacks, rock stacks. Biggest on the bottom, smallest on the top. Short stacks, tall stacks, old stacks, new stacks. Higher and higher and if they all drop, we'll just pick them up and build back to the top. Biggest on the bottom, smallest on the top. Oh, hey, look, the otters are holding hands and floating together now. That's because they're asleep. Otters hold hands when they sleep, so they don't drift apart. <laughs> Aww, that's so, so cute. cute. We learned so much about otters today. They have pockets, they use tools, they can smell underwater, and they're great stackers. I have one more question about otters. Sure, what's that, Dean? Do otters dance? I don't know, but I know a group of animals who do. <laughs> what a day, what a day, it's so much fun Playing with friends by the ocean Down below in the water, up on the shore So much to learn, so much to explore So much fun playing with friends by the ocean. Oh. oh, hi. We're so glad you're here, ocean explorers. You're just in time. We're about to meet a new friend who's also a dolphin. Want to come along and meet the dolphin with us? Let's do it! Explorer friends, how are you? Come along with us and we'll learn something new. Hey, Opus! Hey, great news! Not only is my dolphin friend swimming our way right now, but she's bringing some of her friends. Wait, she's bringing friends? We're going to need more than one dolphin? 
It just keeps getting better! <laughs> well, I have a little dolphin fun fact for you, Dean. You know how a group of dogs is called a pack of dogs? Yeah, I've heard that. I'm a dog. <laughs> well, a group of dolphins is called a pod. That is a very fun fact. Hey, I think I see them way out there. That does look like a pod of dolphins, Neptune. But to be sure, maybe we should take, take a closer, closer look. look. When you're feeling curious and you want to know Wow, those dolphins look so happy. Of course they're happy. They're gliding across the water at super fast speeds without a boat. They also look happy because those are bottlenose dolphins. And the curved shape of their mouths on their short snouts makes it look like they're always smiling. Well, they put a smile on my face too. Dolphins communicate through their own language, a mix of clicks and squeaks and whistles. Hi, I'm Dean. I'm so excited to meet a dolphin, and even more excited to meet a bunch of dolphins. I mean, a pod of dolphins. You know what? I gotta call my mom and tell her I'm finally meeting a dolphin. I mean, a pod of, oh, oh, oh no, my shell phone fell in the water. Don't worry. If we put our heads together, we can figure this out. If you say so. Yeah, let me know when it starts to work. <laughs> when, when I said put our heads together, I didn't mean we should actually put our heads together, Dean. Putting our heads together means trying to think up a solution to our problem together. Hey guys, do you want to help us find Dean's shell phone? Then let's go! Does anyone see my shell phone? What does your shell phone look like? It's blue and shaped like a shell with a starfish on it. Oh! <gasps> That's a shell, but it's not my shell phone. Do you see Dean's shell phone? Together is better, it's better together. We can all work together. Together is better, it's better together. In any kind of weather. We can all do this together. Cause together is better. It's better together. Together is better. Yeah! The dolphin found your shell phone. Oh, get it? It's stuck between that coral and too far away for me to reach. Maybe your long arms can reach it, Opus. Great idea. Yeah! It was so nice to meet you. Thanks for finding my shell phone. Bye-bye. See you later. Well, today we got to meet a pod of dolphins. And we learned about how they communicate. Also, we worked together to solve a problem. You know, my shell phone isn't just a phone. It can also play music. So, so dance party! What a day, what a day, it's so much fun. Playing with friends by the ocean. Down below in the water, up on the shore. So much to learn, so much to explore. It's 
so much fun playing with friends by the ocean. Well, ahoy there, ocean explorers. You're just in time. We're about to head down under the water. Want to explore with us? All right, let's go. Guys, guys, you know how Opus has eight arms? You mean... These? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight arms that he uses to swim around the ocean? Exactly. Well, I just saw another animal out in the ocean that also has lots of long, wiggly arms. Do you think it's also an octopus? Maybe. Well, maybe not. Is there such a thing as an octopus with lots and lots of arms? That sounds really interesting, Dean. Can I take a look through the periscope to see what you're seeing? What about you? Do you want to? Take, take a, a closer, closer look. look! When you're feeling curious and you want to know, take a closer look and your mind will grow! See? There it is! Just look at all those arms! So, what do you think? Is it an octopus? Even though it has a lot of arms, it's not an octopus. But you don't have to take my word for it. Let's ask our octopus friend, Opus. Hi, guys. You find anything interesting in the ocean today? We sure did. We saw an animal that has lots of arms, just like you, Opus. And it's right there. Oh, that's my friend. Hi, Janet. Hi, Opus. Janet is not an octopus. But what about all those arms? Her long, wiggly arms are actually called tentacles. They help her eat and swim. And that's also what my eight arms are called. My tentacles help me eat and swim, too. But Janet has so many more tentacles than you. That's true. We're also different in other ways. Like how Janet's body is glowing? That's a great example, Dean. Janet's body can glow in the dark. Can you spot another way Opus and Janet are different? I noticed that Opus and Janet are different colors. Great observation, Tinker. Opus is blue and Janet is pink and purple. We're different sizes, too. That's true, Opus. You are bigger than Janet. So, what are you, Janet? I'm a jellyfish. I glow, and I'm smaller than an octopus, but I also have lots of tentacles to help me move through the water, like this. Oh, that looks like fun. I want to wiggle like a jellyfish. Me too. Do you want to wiggle like a jellyfish with us? Awesome! Here we go! Come on, everybody, do the jellyfish wiggle. You twist all around and you wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You shake it to the ground and you wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You jump up and down and you wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And that's how you do the jellyfish wiggle. That was fun! Nothing like shaking my tentacles. Um, Dean, you don't have tentacles. I don't. Dogs have legs, just like tigers and caterpillars. And sea turtles? Actually, I don't have legs or tentacles. I have flippers. Wow. What an amazing day. We learned about a new type of ocean animal that looks kind of like an octopus and has tentacles, but can glow in the dark. A jellyfish. And we noticed that some of us have arms, and some of us have tentacles, and some of us have flippers. And some of us have legs. And do you know what my legs love to do? What? 
dance! What a day, what a day, it's so much fun Playing with friends by the ocean Down below in the water, up on the shore So much to learn, so much to explore It's so much fun Playing with friends by the ocean Hi, I'm Cal Together, my friends and I explore the wonders of the ocean Hi, I'm Tinker It's so nice to see you <laughs> We were just wondering what colors we can find on fish in the ocean Hi, I'm Dean Want to explore with us? Fantastic! Explorer friends, how are you? Come along with us and we'll learn something new Guys Hi Opus Hi, Neptune. I think I found some colorful fish. Wow, look at all the different kinds of fish. And all the different colors. This is great. Now we can explore the different colors of the fish in the ocean. Want to help us name the colors? Let's do it. What color is the trumpet fish? All right, the trumpet fish is yellow. It's actually long and yellow, like a banana. I wish I had a banana. Wait, I do have a banana. <laughs> now, what color is the clownfish? The clownfish is orange. Just like me. Whoa. You and the clownfish are the same color, Tinker. That's awesome. Oh, 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 look at that fish. It's purple. Great try, Neptune. Want to try again? Uh, is it blue? Hmm. Yes, it is blue. Way to go. That fish is a blue tank fish. Sometimes I get my colors confused. We're all still learning, finding our way. Trying and smiling, getting better each day. Hey, it looks like the fish are looking for something. Hmm. Do you think they're hungry? I think they are. Ooh, my aunt packed me lots of other snacks too. More bananas, apples, crackers, cheese. It's so nice of you to want to share, Dean. But I don't think fish eat those foods. Are you sure? Don't tell my aunt. So, what do fish eat? Why don't we take, take a, a closer, closer look? look? When you're feeling curious and you want to know, take a closer look and your mind will grow. Fish eat food like algae, other little fish, and sea plants. Those sea plants right there are called seaweed. They look like long leaves and they sway underwater like this. Can you sway like the seaweed? That was fun! So, now that we know what fish eat, let's feed them! Yeah! Okay! What should we feed the fish? Bananas or seaweed? Seaweed! That's right! Blue tang fish. Time for lunch. You remembered blue, Neptune. Look what's happening. When the food goes in the water, the fish get excited and gather around to eat. Great job, ocean explorers! We named the colors of different fish, and we even figured out what some of them like to eat. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Dance party! 
What a day, what a day, it's so much fun Playing with friends by the ocean Down below in the water, up on the shore So much to learn, so much to explore It's so much fun.